dolls. Today, we're working on another vintage cologne doll. Her name is Wendy, and she was made in the 60s by Unida. They tend to be quite sought after, but mine unfortunately had a lot of damage, so I decided to give her a new identity instead and turn her into Bill Lily. Her rooting is a mess, and the hair on top has been glued on, so there is no point in me trying to salvage it. Belle Lily, for anyone not in the know, was the predecessor to Barbie back in the mid-50s, and she was effectively the first ever fashion doll as we know them today. She was inspired by the main character, Lily, of the German comic strip for the newspaper build, and was meant as a gift for adults. The most remarkable thing about this doll is the level of detail put into creating her miniature outfits, which have made her the icon she is today. They go for well over a thousand pounds, that's if you even manage to find one, and there are thousands of clones on the market. They stopped being produced in 1964, with Barbie taking over the fashion doll market. This fiber is very flimsy and annoying to work with. In fact, I think I inhaled so much of it my lungs are probably plastered in the stuff. The rooting is very half-assed, with her hairline is starting way above the marked out rooting line, so I took care of that. This stuff sheds a lot, so I comb it out and get it to the length I need before tying the hair in a high ponytail. This doll's face up is actually quite similar to Lily's, so I mostly erase some overspray and dirt off her face. Build Lily was hand painted, and that means there were a lot of imperfections, making each doll completely unique. I tried to replicate that by not paying too much attention to details, and focusing more on the general shape. To imitate that airbrushed powder blue eyeshadow, I took some pressed pigment and dusted it lightly above her eyelid. To finish off the face up, I give her a generous amount of blush. And I paint in her nostrils. Now, let's talk about her body. Obviously, her hands are beyond repair. Her boob is squished in, and her feet are massive. I really wanted to use these arms as they fit the project the best, but alas, they do not fit. So I replaced them with some spare arms.
Bill Lily actually had molded on heels. So, to try and mimic that, I first cut off some of her feet. I melted the feet with a lighter to get rid of any harsh edges. For the heel, I made a hole in the sole using a heated wire. And I stuck a toothpick inside to act as the base for my heel. Then I molded her new shoes with milliput. And I painted them black. The original doll also had molded on flower earrings. So I stuck some 1mm rhinestones on her ears using acrylic nail gel. And I set it using my 3D printer resin, which is runnier and won't move any of my rhinestones around. Then, I cure everything under a UV lamp. To make it look like they're molded on, I first prime everything with a color that matches her skin. And then, I go in and paint the details in black. For the hairstyle, I rolled her hair around the chopstick and heated it with my hair straighteners from that iconic ponytail sausage curl. Then I did the same for the bangs. And to lay down any flyaways, I smooth everything over using my straighteners, and I hairspray everything in place. And with that, she is done! Thank you guys so much for watching, and subscribe if you want to see more. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at DoDearWonderland. Thank you for following me, and I'll see you soon.